VR emulator. I've got my controllers ready and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So just so you know, both controllers, you can hot swap any controller you want with this game. So I'm using an Xbox controller and a Vive controller for the light gun stuff. Uh, you can use a Vive controller uh, exclusively if you want, but uh, if anyone has ever used a Vive controller on a platformer, it's not easy to use these trackpads as uh, buttons. So that's why I use an Xbox controller mostly in this emulator. Uh, if you have an Oculus, that's even better because they got the actual buttons or any other motion controller that actually has the buttons would be be good but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be showing you Vive and Xbox combo and um, so and also for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be calling I'm gonna, this button start and this button select uh, I know it's called uh, this one's called view and this one's menu but I'm so used to calling them start and select so as I go through the video I say start and select you'll just so you understand all right so let's uh, start this so when you start this game, you'll notice it's pretty plain looking. Bunch of white empty boxes, nothing much to see. So I'm going to show you how to set up all the games and put a title card on it, make it look cool, and uh, put the skybox on. I'll show you a couple of options. So let's get into these settings. I'm going to press the start button. All right. So first, you'll notice you can change the skybox here to gradient or fantasy. Now I find the differences are preference. I find I like fantasy on lighter games like Mario and Zelda and that kind of stuff. And Gradient I find is good on darker games like uh, Metroid or you know something like that. Space time kind of games. So it's a preference thing. Control, uh, you have either laser beam or gaze. Right now I have it on gaze and as you can see as I move my headset I have a little reticle and whatever I highlight there, I can just uh, click on it by pressing start. So it's pretty easy. I like that way. You could choose laser beam if you want, where you're using a Vive controller and you can move around and, and uh, click on stuff that way. But like I said, I barely use the Vive controller with this emulator just because the platformers are not great <laughs> to play with this. So. Let's get into the, let's we'll switch it back to the gaze mode really quick. There we go, back to gaze mode. Put this in my pocket. <laughs> so get into the game. So uh, we're going to skip the T 2D mode for now. Let's uh, get to the balloon fight. So what we're going to do is press the start button. And it's going to prompt you to a directory. So now remember I told you to remember where you put all those ROMs that you stored so I guess I have mine in 3d send ROMs so I have here so the ones I'm looking for I'm just gonna cancel I'm looking for balloon fight so let's see balloon fight so what you want to do is you want to match the ROM to the title card right there so now there we go so balloon fight will automatically start and it'll look great and you can control the view or you can walk around you can walk up to it you can press the L and R button to zoom in and out. The right analog stick, you can tilt it however you want. If you want to play a game, you know, that's at this angle. You can do it, no problem. Um, to exit a game, press the B button and you will exit the game. And you will see a little window there of where you are playing. It's kind of like a quick save spot like um, but if you switch a game that spot won't save so I'm just gonna jump right back into it and as you notice as uh, when I press the B oh <laughs> when I press the B button at this screen you'll see that my my save screen there says balloon fight so I'm gonna that's how you pick your title card so let's highlight that with your uh, gaze beam or laser and press the select button on that screen and you'll see it'll automatically go to that now you can make it, uh, you can get fancy with this and do personalize here. Oops. Let's see, I want a cool like that. So look at that. Now I got a cool like 3D looking title card. So, so you just press the back button and select button on that there. So let's do a battle kid here. Oops. Battle kid, press start. It'll load up the game. 
right away. Let's just look at that. So I got the title. Press back. Press select on that. There we go. Another one. You can do it really quick once you get them all. Back. Select. Boom. And so on and so forth like that. It's pretty easy to do. Now, when you get to... Let's see if I can find some gun games here. Uh, let's just do Wild Gun Man here for now. And it's just at the bottom. Wild Gun Man. Let's do a little quick screenshot. Select. Boom. There we go. Get back into it. So, like I said, with the controllers, oh, I have it in my pocket. You can just uh, hot swap. See, now I can put my Xbox controller down. And there we go. You can even control the tilt with the trackpad on this, too. So, if I want to go farther away, I can actually squeeze the grip button, too. Ready? Boom! There we go. Easy. And uh, if you want to exit the game, um, <laughs> it's one of these buttons. There. I think it's the top button on the menu. Yeah, it's the top button on the trackpad. Like I said, I don't find the Vive controllers the best, except for the gun games. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, another thing I can show you is it, it does have uh, save states. So if you're in a game, a longer game, um, you can create a save slot and uh, just by pressing the start button saves the uh, start button does most of everything in this here in the menu so if you want to say have a little save spot that's right there and if you want to load there you go there's your load right there pretty easy that's about it it's pretty simple to use once you uh, kind of get the used to get used to it a little bit and uh, yeah I highly suggest you guys try this game out or this emulator out uh, there is a demo on Steam with a few ROMs to try. So if you want to see what it looks like, check it out. But that's it for me for now. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.